Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your Noontime Wrap. Despite two decisions disqualifying Senator Grace Poe from the 2016 presidential elections, she enjoys a slim lead over other candidates five months away from Election Day. If the elections were held today, Poe would lead with 28% of the votes. Vice President Judge Marbinai would come in second with 23%. Interior Secretary Manuel Rojas, third with 22%. Duterte, fourth with 19%. And Santiago, last with 3%. Poe won most votes for her style of governance, Binay for his accomplishments in Makati, Rojas for promising to continue Aquino programs, Duterte for his stance against criminality, and Santiago for her courage. If Poe does not run, b nice rating will go up 10 points to 33%, Rojas up 7 points to 29%, Duterte's will increase by 7 points to 29%, and Santiago's will go up by 6 points to 9%. If Duterte does not run, Poe's rating will increase 10 points to 38%, b nice will go up 7 points to 30%, Rojas's will improve by 1 point to 23%, while Santiago's increases by 3 points to 6%. The latest standard poll led by pollster Juni Lilo was taken from December 4 to 12. <laughs> The Philippine military captures a terrorist camp in the southern island of Basilan Sunday. A military spokesman said the week-long assault ended with the deaths of 26 Abu Sayyaf members and three soldiers. About 300 soldiers, backed by artillery and attack helicopters, launched the attack on reportedly 150 members of the Abu Sayyaf group. An improvised explosive device left behind by the Abu Sayyaf injured 12 soldiers during cleaning operations. The military says the 26 deaths were confirmed by residents. The bodies were buried at once according to Muslim tradition. There's no word on foreigners abducted by the terrorist group. Miss Philippines Pia Wurzbach wins this year's Miss Universe pageant in Las Vegas, USA. Host Steve Harvey announces Miss Columbia as the winner, but moments later admits he made a mistake. Wurzbach defeats Miss Columbia and Miss USA in the finals. And that's the Noontime Wrap. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again at 6 p.m. for today's top news.